What's up guys, it's your boy Margaret the Great and today I wanted to do a uh, I wanted to do a spirit guide for you guys um, a lot of new players joining and everything and some people that just don't understand how to use spirit or that are struggling with spirit there are a few other videos out there but they're they're not irrelevant they're just they're outdated especially with uh, spirits nerf coming up so without further ado um, I'm gonna start off with explaining her add-ons and what add-ons I recommend you use now we're gonna start with her common add-ons her brown add-ons I don't use them as much because they really they don't make very much of a difference using her brown add-ons they're just a it's just a slight boost to her power Dory, however you pronounce it, and some of these things I'm, I may not uh, attempt to pronounce, but whatever this is, slightly increase Yamo Yamoka's haunting movement speed. This, it's while you're phasing, you just move faster. The Shiwaza Shiwazi amulet increases duration. Now, if there's anything that I recommend, two add-ons that I recommend you run with Spirit, it is definitely movement speed and uh, haunting duration. Then we got the Origami Crane, which increases the power recovery of her phasing. Yes, her phasing does go on a cooldown, but me personally, it doesn't bother me with her phasing on cooldown. I mean, Spirit probably has one of the most logical cooldowns in the game, in my opinion. Up next, we got Gifted Bamboo Comb, which increases uh, the activation charge, along with, I think it's muddy hat and bloody brooch these three add-ons all they do is they just increase uh or yes they increase how long it takes for you to uh, activate uh, activate yamoka's haunting or just how quicker you you activate it. these three add-ons i never really noticed uh much of a difference if you were to ask me the difference that they make to me it would give survivors less time to react to the fact that you're going into your face and when you get into your phasing uh, faster you can catch up to the survivors faster but i wouldn't use that next we got white hair ribbon moderately increases uh haunting uh, activation charge wait what does this do oh wait that's movement speed i'm sorry i made a mistake we got ren's uh broken watch increases hunting uh, haunting power recovery speed uh, Broken Watch and Rusty Flute, these two do the same thing, just uh, much quicker. I don't... Uh, okay, power recovery speed, yes, it's good. But at the same time, it's, it's going to make you depend on her power too much. Which is, they're okay to use, but I, they're a good thing to use. Next we got Summon Talesman and Katsumori Talesman. These two I do recommend using. Uh, the uncommon one it moderately increases duration it is a good thing to keep duration on spirit I highly recommend using duration on her on her movement speed because it gives you more time to catch up to survivors and it keeps survivors unwary of your location and then we have Juni uh, Juniper Bonsai which slightly increases the frequency of passive phasing I will try to put a video together to show you guys what passive phasing is passive phasing is from her point of view she does not see her passive phase but from survivors point of view you can see her passive phasing and that is her going in and out of reality it just it it mind it mind fucks survivors that's what it does and then next we got katana suba suba slightly increased yamaha yamaoka's haunting appearance duration and movement speed. This is also equivalent to Wakazashi Saya. This is Wakazashi Saya higher tier, which means it's greater. What this does, imagine Wraith after you uncloak and you get a boost of speed. That's what these two do. These two, it, it helps you maintain your phasing speed after you come out for a certain duration. All right, next we got Dirty, Dirty Uwabaki. Considerably increases Yamaoka's haunting. This is probably one of the most common ones I use. I, I was going to say that y'all will use, but 
it's one of the common ones that I use because you want to end chase, chases faster. Like, you want to catch up to survivors, you want to end chases faster. Now, prayer beads. Y'all can forget about this one. Prayer beads is getting changed. What they are changing prayer beads to is to where her phasing sound is heard throughout the map. This was a problem for survivors because they didn't like the fact of not being able to hear her phasing. Me personally, I never had a problem with it. If it's challenging for me, give me more. Of it. But they are changing it to where it is, uh, to where her phasing sound is heard throughout the map because without uh, the chain, uh, without uh, this, her phasing sound can only be heard if she's at a certain distance to you. The only time you will not hear a phasing sound is if you are in terror radius. And then next, we have Father's Glasses. When you go into Yamaoka's Haunty, the only thing you will be able to see is scratch marks, moving grass, and that is about it. You will not see blood trails. Father's Glasses enables Spirit to see that whenever she is in phasing. And this, I don't have that add-on, but I have it on my blood web by the entity but this stacks well with mother daughter ring. tremendously increases yamaoka's haunted movement speed but it gets rid of scratch marks the only scratch marks you're gonna see is the last scratch mark survivors made whenever before you entered phase father's glasses and mother daughter ring stack very well mother daughter ring it's it's not used as much due to the fact that it you can't see scratch marks but that tremendously increases yamaoka's haunted movement speed Spirit moves crazy fast, and when I say crazy fast, I mean crazy fast. Now, let's jump into some perks. Perks that I would recommend you guys use. I don't have all my perks on her. Alright. So, of course, Hex Ruin, it's, it's always, it's a great perk for any killer. Like, it's... It's a universal perk to use. Uh, I'm not gonna get into Dying Light. Barbecue and Chili, of course. Barbecue and Chili, it's always great to use for those extra blood points. I Me, mean, I use it for the blood points. A lot of people like to use it to know where survivors are. If I use it for the aura reading, it's just so that I know what survivors are doing. Um, don't worry too much about Shadowborn. Shadowborn is my drug perk. I can't play Killer without it. Uh, other good perks that I would say that are good on Spirit, Discordance. Discordance is very good on Spirit because of her movement speed while she's in a uh, haunting. She can get to that gen quicker. Sloppy Butcher is also a good perk for her because survivor. At the end of the day, survivors, after they get injured, whether they drop, the, whether you, uh, they win the chase or not, they are going to heal. And there's nothing feels better than making survivors waste time to heal because when they're healing. That's less time they're spending on gems. Um, uh, the usual combos, uh, Spirit Fury and Enduring, you can use that. Me personally, I don't give a fuck. Uh, excuse me, I don't care about that combo. Like, Spirit, she has, she's viable and she has a lot of mind game potential. Um, another good perk for her would be Make Your Choice. Make Your Choice, it's situational, but whenever you get that proc it feels good when you find that person now one perk that uh let me find it one perk that i say that uh isn't used very well on her or people are blind to there it is save the best for last spirit has great chase pressure she, her, her chase pressure isn't as good as the nurses but she has great chase pressure and I feel that save the best for last is probably a good perk on her. Now, for those of you that are new to Spirit, a few perks that I would recommend you run on her. One of them is, where is it? Strider. You can hear grunts of pain 50% louder and regular breathing of survivors 25% louder. I consider this a training wheels perk for Spirit, uh, for new people trying to learn Spirit. Because one, you're trying to learn her. Two, when you go into Yamoka's Haunting, you cannot see survivors. You're going to have to listen for them. Another good training wheels perk for um, 
for spirit predator keep track of survivor scratch marks now i will warn you predator is both good and bad on spirit the main reason why is because whenever you while you're tracking survivors it's good because it helps you keep track of survivors the reason why it's bad is because you are going going to heavily depend on scratch marks me when i play spirit i don't I don't want 100% depend on scratch marks. It's I depend on scratch marks to get me in the general vicinity of the survivors. And then once I'm in the general vicinity of the survivors, if I can hear them, that's when then I turn on my hearing to to track them. These are great training wheel perks uh, for those that are learning spirit. And you will eventually get to the point to where to where like you feel no need to use these. And I forgot to mention the downside about using Strider is that it makes survivors sound closer than they actually are. And without further ado, guys, um, let's go ahead and roll right into it. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Push her away from here. <laughs> nice. Now what?
I forgot to leave you guys with some information. It was the fact that whenever the bar is filling up, when you go to phase, when that bar is filling up, you still have control over Spirit's Husk. Like, you're, you're still physically moving. When that bar gets to 100%, then you are in 100% phasing. Then you can start moving around. I'm going to leave you guys with some advice. Spirit, she is a very, very fun killer to use. And she is very viable. As you climb the ranks with Spirit, you're going to start dealing with survivors that cannot stand her. They're going to send you messages. They're going to be salty. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. Don't pay any attention to it. You did what you were supposed to do as a killer. And they did what they could as a survivor. But they're just mad because they had to deal with spirit. All I can say is keep killing. Keep doing what you got to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, please feel free to tell me in the comments. Tell me what you liked about the video. Tell me what you didn't like about the video. But that is all I have for now. I am Michael the Great, and I will see you guys in the next video.